the company or be a partner and uh baby is hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm currently 35 weeks pregnant and the baby is due soon it is summertime so it's hot i'm hot i'm just ready to get this baby out at this point <laughs> So continue to watch the rest of this video as I prepare for baby's arrival. You can also skip to the end of this video to see my labor and delivery story. The anticipation of my new baby arriving soon um, just has me wanting to prepare the home, of course, and prepare his nursery, and just make sure that hubby and I are calm and ready to adapt to our new life. Now, nesting usually happens in the third trimester, usually around 38 to 39 weeks. Um, but I knew I was in the nesting period when I wanted to clean my entire home. Um, I just wanted to like declutter everything, like declutter our closet, our drawers, the front room. I wanted to make sure I didn't see a speck of dust. Sometimes I would be up in the middle of the night just deep cleaning my home. Now this is just a cleaning hack that I learned from my mom. It's used just to freshen up your home. So you're going to mix water with one third alcohol and you just spray it wherever you like. So I usually will spray it on our bedding, um, on the sofa, now in the nursery of course, and the restrooms. I would have had us out there in the sun somewhere if it was up to me. <laughs> yeah. Part of the company, be a partner. Uh, I've been going, I've been going, I've 
I'll be focused, just be with me in the moment Trust me, I know how you feel right now Baby, that's just what it is right now You stay with me, I'm behind you And I'm trying to make the time to Baby, that's all I can give right now Maybe that's just what it is right now Sorry, you didn't get a chance to hear me I've been going Sorry, Sorry you didn't get a chance to hear me I've been going Baby, that's all I can get right now Maybe that's just what it is right now Wish I could be where you are I know the distance is far out there Running, running through your mind Running, running through your mind Wish I could be where you are I know the distance is far out there Running, running through your mind Running, running through your mind To you right now I don't have much time With you tonight I've been so hot Sunker, now I'm watching No Jumper. I'm gonna take a time tonight because I really want to get to sleep. So, yeah, I'm gonna take a quick shower. I'll probably edit. guys she been going through it but i think it's about that time to deliver that baby pretty soon we'll see <laughs> nurse gonna go see about these contractions hi daddy are you recording mm -hmm. oh yeah all right man look you need to come out and make a smooth delivery <laughs> we've been in this joint for five days already we probably gonna be in for another three if you give us any more issues. Mm -hmm. All right, so make a smooth transition to the world. We'll see. So, baby was actually due August 31st, but this past Friday, it is now Tuesday, I came into the ER with chest pains. My left chest. In this area and right below but they sent me home with some Tylenol. So I was at home from like Saturday morning to Sunday morning, just with Tylenol, you know? It was helping at first, but then started having chest pains more frequently. So I came back, Oh, well, hubby and I came back to the ER and they tried to give me Tylenol again. Kind of was okay. They ran a few tests on my heart, um, blood pressure, and blood. Can you hold this up? And um, what was I saying? Basically, they sent me home again on Sunday. And then we came right back a few hours later because the chest pains were just constant they wouldn't leave Tylenol wasn't helping nothing was helping so they instantly put me on pain medication but it was through the IV and then um, eventually they put me on more pain <sighs> oh, goodness they've just been monitoring baby let's put that over there where you can see hmm. And monitoring baby, monitoring his heart rate, and monitoring the contractions. I've just been, they've been running tests on me since 
Sunday really. Checking the heart and checking the lungs, make sure I don't have any blood clots. So basically they concluded that the baby is just pressing up against the diaphragm because it's a pretty big child. And that's pretty much it. Oh.